We have some new CAD renders of the Galaxy S11e, and it looks like Samsung is really going for that stove design after all. Some new benchmarks of the Galaxy S11 5G have just emerged, leaking specs, and it looks like Apple is expecting a lot of iPhone 12 orders next year, mainly because of a particular benefit. I'm Jaime Rivera, and you know one of the great things about today being Monday? Who am I kidding? This is Parking Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Yes, this week is Thanksgiving. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone, but obviously everybody's looking forward to Black Friday deals and Cyber Monday, so let's begin. Right now, the Razer Phone 2 is currently available on Amazon for $300 shipped. It packs in a 120 hertz display along with some great specifications. They also have some discounts on Galaxies that you should really consider. Every flagship from the Note 10 Plus to the Galaxy S10e is currently on a $200 discount with free shipping and the Samsung warranty and uh, some also include free Galaxy Buds, uh, so make sure you look for that option in the link in the description. Actually, all the links in the description. Now, if you remember, one of my favorite products of early this year was the new Hisense H8F. Android TV, great display, but the price tag was insane. And uh, for those of you that wanted an option that was not necessarily, you know, Android TV, there is now an option with Roku TV. And actually, Hisense has been making Roku TVs for a bit. They're just uh, boosting that lineup with more quality. This new Roku TV version is in 55 inches or 65 inches. It brings you LED technology, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision HDR, and all the features, again, that you like from Roku TVs. Now, just keep in mind that the launch is going to happen actually mid-December, so it's not one of the deals that you could pick up right now because the price tags are just as aggressive, but you can learn more about everything in the description. Now let's move the spotlight over to MediaTek and Intel as uh, both companies have just surprised us with a very interesting partnership. MediaTek will be providing the 5G modems for Intel-powered PCs. Dell and HP will be the first manufacturers to roll out products powered by this partnership, which we should expect in early 2021. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait a little. Now we wonder exactly what we're getting as uh, from the chipset perspective, because you know, adding a modem to an existing chip is something that's possible, or is it that we're actually getting a mobile chip from, you know, this combination. We'll see. Now, a rather interesting development is how much demand Apple is expecting for their next generation iPhones, as we've got Digitimes already chiming in on what to expect. Apparently, Apple is telling their supply chain partners to expect an excess of 100 million orders for the iPhone 12 next year. Currently, the 11 lineup is expected to sell 80 million units, but the 12 lineup will apparently grow because of the 5G demand, as well as the hardware improvements they are currently lacking and that uh, we should expect. Analysts also claim that the changes in carriers due to 5G will drive customers to upgrade their phones, uh, which will definitely also cause growth. I'm just, it's just shocking to see how the whole Qualcomm and Apple partnership got fixed. And now, you know, Apple wants to go trigger happy over 5G. I think that's awesome. Now let's move the spotlight over to Samsung. Obviously, talking 5G, one of the major players is definitely going to be Sammy at the launch, but uh, we've got some very interesting developments. We've got some very interesting benchmarks of the Galaxy S11 5G, which will reportedly be the regular variant and not a separate version like we saw with the S10 5G. This means that we should get a cheaper 5G phone, which is great. The specs include 12 gigs of RAM and runs Android 10, but appears to bring an Exynos 990 variant. And uh, there's uh, no confirmation of if it's going to also bring a Snapdragon variant, but we expect that to be the case. Uh, we'll keep you posted. But finally, the hottest news today have to do with uh, actually another Samsung Galaxy S variant. If you remember the most beloved uh, version, at least for me, was the S10e, uh, and it seems that the S11e is actually not going to follow ship with the current design and instead uh, bring some polarizing changes. Last week, we covered some renders of the Galaxy S11 with some weird stove design at the back. Now we have some renders of the S11e, which features the same design language, sadly. It also brings a centered punch hole with a 6.2 inch or 6.3 inch display, which is curved unlike the S10e. At the back, we see the stove again, but only three sensors compared to the S11. Uh, which has five. Some of the leaked specs include a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, six gigabytes of RAM and Android 10, so that pretty much confirms that we are getting a Qualcomm chip for this phone. 
Think about it as let us know in the comments down below. I mean, one of the things that I like the most about the S10e is not just the size, but we didn't have to deal with the curves and we didn't have to deal with the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. You had a typical capacitive one. Um, what do you think? Do you think that it's a good move for Samsung to standardize designs? Because in my case, honestly, I prefer displays when they're not curved, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me play with these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.